Therefore, you would think that would be a transportation, something that you can deduct, right? Which means we would track the miles for those type of trips. So methods for deducting car and truck expenses. So for local transportation or overnight travel by car or truck, you can generally use one of the following methods to figure your expenses. So here's where it gets a little tricky. You've got the standard mileage rate and you've got the actual expenses. Now, when we're thinking about the QuickBooks system of tracking miles, we would be thinking we're probably using the standard mileage rate, which is quite common, but it gets a little bit tricky when we use the standard mileage rate because we're probably deducting the normal expenses in QuickBooks related to the automobile, which includes you know gasoline and maintenance and that kind of stuff. So we cannot take both the actual expenses and the mileage and use the mileage method, we would then be doubling up on the deductions. So therefore, if we're using the mileage method, so what we have to do from a QuickBooks standpoint is say, okay, am I using the mileage method or am I using the actual expenses method? If I'm using the mileage method, how can I integrate the tracking of the miles to make the mileage method easy for me to, to help my tax professional at the end of the year is the is the general idea and do i need to integrate that into my financial statements in some way shape or form so that's what we'll take a look at in